5G. You have all heard this term 100 times a day around the year. Some associated it with the coronavirus pandemic, some called it a mind control method to control our brain, and other nonsense. But how can we understand what 5G really is? It's not that it's hard to understand, and we have been dealing with low speed frequencies in the past, and speaking of frequencies like 1G, 2G, 3G, 4G, or LTE, and now 5G. Like its predecessors, 5G is a frequency that transmits data from one point to the other, but much faster than any wireless technologies we've ever created. It first rolled out in 2019 in countries like the US, but we consider the technology in its initial phases of implementation even after two years. Still, countries are rushing to be the first ones to implement the technology nationwide, and there is one big reason for the race technological advancements. It is said that with the extended bandwidth of 5G and blazing fast speeds, we can achieve new heights in data processing technology. Imagine streaming YouTube in 4K on your phone, sitting on a bus in the countryside with zero lag. Buffering will become unknown to us, and this is just a small example of how 5G will be. Not just that, the struggle we see when purchasing a mobile device with a bigger storage capacity, with a stronger and more reliable 5G network, available around the clock, around the world, cloud computing and services will rise. Arguably, it will end the need to have a high-end computer on your desk by a subscription to a cloud computing service, use all your demanding software tools online, or play high-end games on your phone using Stadia. The speeds of our internet only limited these startups and ideas. But with 5G, our younger generations will experience a completely different way of using computers and data processing. But another question arises, how fast can it be? On paper, it is at least 10 times faster than 4G LTE, but GSMA companies say that it can get up to 100 times faster. Factors like location or the number of active users in the area will determine the real experience that won't be as noticeable as we see today. That leads to another question. How can we, regular consumers, take advantage of 5G? The technology is still in its initial run. It will be a long time before we can experience 5G, as per the claims. We need to have a strong network established, and more importantly, devices that can support 5G. Today we can see many smartphones on the market that are 5G enabled and users have tested them in the connectivity regions. However, they are relatively more expensive than other devices considering 4G is still the dominant network worldwide. And some counties do not even have the maximum bandwidth of 4G available. Nothing is perfect in the world and 5G is not an exception. The first drawback is the availability GSMA companies suggest that we cannot expect a promising connection anywhere until 2025. There are concerns about the security of the technology since the future is foreseen to be established on this technology's foundations. What is your opinion on this matter? Share with us in the comments below if you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one.